curse of number 22 all started with a man named Jordan Evans. Jordan was the number one recruit in the class of 2013, ranked number one above this lacrosse player named Matt Rambo. You might have heard his name before. As a high schooler, Evans was already getting compared to one of the greatest lacrosse players of all time and Syracuse legend Mikey Powell. And rightfully so. Evans put up 396 points at Jamesville DeWitt High School and many high school coaches called him the greatest high school lacrosse player they had ever seen. So Syracuse head coach John Desco decided Jordan Evans would be the next orange player in line to wear the special number of 22. Number 22 had a long history at Syracuse, being worn by Gary Gate, the Powell brothers, Jojo Morasco, and many other All-Americans. If you were watching Syracuse lacrosse, you expected number 22 to be your best player, and it made you stand out from every other player on the Syracuse lacrosse team. Well, unfortunately, things didn't turn out for Jordan Evans the way we hoped. He had two points his freshman year and 12 points his sophomore year. You can find people on Twitter and message boards saying that Evans shouldn't be allowed to wear the number. But Evans went on to have a pretty decent junior and senior season, scoring 35 and 44 points respectively. But despite his improvement, Jordan was already perceived as a failure in most lacrosse fans' eyes, as he was supposed to be the next Mikey Powell. The Daily Orange called Evans the biggest disappointment of Syracuse lacrosse of 2017. He was also the first number 22 to never be an All-American at Syracuse. It didn't help that the player whom Evans was ranked above in high school, that guy I told you earlier about, Matt Rambo, went on to win the Twerton for the nation's best lacrosse player and win a national championship. Currently, Rambo is one of the best lacrosse players in the world. So after Evans graduated, Syracuse lacrosse spent two years without a number 22. But then another player came along, Chase Scanlon, a freshman at Loyola who just finished up his first year of college lacrosse as a second team All-American, scoring 43 goals and 15 assists alongside the very talented Pat Spencer. Scanlon was looking to transfer from Loyola to a new school, and he lasered in on two specific ones, Virginia and Syracuse. While he was deciding which school to choose, he got a text from Syracuse assistant coach Leland Rogers saying he could wear the number 22. Well, you know the story. Scanlon committed to the Orange. In his first game with the Qs in 2020, Scanlon scored seven goals against in-state opponent Colgate, and it was looking like Chase would turn the bad luck of number 22 around. He ended up having a solid but inconsistent season that would be cut short by COVID. Although it wasn't the perfect start, people were excited to see what Scanlon could do in 2021. Well, as you know, it was recently announced that Scanlon has been suspended indefinitely by Syracuse for reasons we do not know. But even before this, Scanlon was getting a lot of hate on Twitter and Syracuse message boards saying he underperformed and shouldn't have been given the number 22. In my opinion, Scanlon is a good player, but the hype on this guy was simply too much. That's because Scanlon was getting compared to some of the greatest lacrosse players of all time. In my opinion, the number 22 sets you up for failure. Unless you become an all-time college lacrosse great, you're perceived as a disappointment by Syracuse fans' standards. I think it's a distraction that puts way too much pressure on a single player. And with social media and national broadcasts, that pressure only becomes greater. I think Syracuse should give the number 22 to a senior on the team. Perhaps even the players could vote on who is chosen to wear the number, similar to how captains are voted by the players. That way, the number 22 is less about putting someone in the spotlight and more about honoring a senior for their hard work. It was recently announced though that Joey Spolina, the number one recruit in the class of 2022 and Syracuse commit, will be the next to wear the number 22. Spolina is considered by many to be a once in a generation lacrosse talent. When he gets to Syracuse in the fall of 2022, current number 22 Scanlon will be a senior if he's still on the team. I wonder what's going to happen. Will Scanlon give up his number? Will Joey wait a year to wear the number 22? Will they battle it out in practice to see who gets the number? What do you think of the number 22? And what video should I make next? I'm Jake with Lax Weekly. I'll see you next time.